a norman window has the shape of a rectangle surmounted by a semicircle right so we have the norman norman window given over here and then we have a rectangle right so over here from here to here we have a rectangle surmounted by the semicircle over here we have given okay so that's what we have given but what is the question here it says that the perimeter of the window so the perimeter of the window is 34 feet that means the length of the window from all the way from this one over here and then this one and then that one and then all the way up to here is 34 right so that's what we have given the perimeter of the window is given in that way our goal is to express the area of the window as a function of the width x of the window so we need to so we need to find out all of these areas so this is the semicircle right this is the rectangle we need to find the area of all of these window as a function of x and what is the x the x is the width of this uh, rectangle over here the this uh, the width of the rectangle or width of this window so how can we do this okay can you think about that so our goal is definitely our goal here is to find out the area of the window right area of the window we need to find that as a function of x and but if you look into here now the area of the window means the area of this look like kind of rectangular shape that we have over here right plus the area of if this is the same circle let's say assume that that's what it is given then we need to just add also the area of the same circle with the area of this shape so in that case we can write down here as a summary the area of the window that we need to figure out is actually let me write down in this way i can say just area of the uh, rectangular shape let me just write down rectangle plus area of the semi circle now i forget the spelling of even the semicircle semi circle right c i r c l e okay nice okay <laughs> here we have the norman window and then do you buy that this argument that to find the area of this uh, uh norman window over here we just need to find the area of the rectangular shape plus area of the semicircle so if our goal is to find the area of the window as a function of x we need to find this uh, quantity over here as a function of x this quantity as a function of x okay so let's try to do that then so let's spend time for a moment on how to find the area of the semicircle so area of the semicircle how can we find this so first of all i'm trying to see what is the area of this portion over here right okay so do you know some formula that will help you to find the area of the semicircle do you know what is the area of the circle well if you know the radius you know that right so if you have the uh, if you know the radius of the circle then pi times square of the radius will give you the area of the circle but here we need to find the area of the semicircle but that can be just figured out by taking the half of the area of the circle so one half right so one over two times pi times r square will give you the area of the semicircle but to use this formula we need to know the radius do i know what is the radius of this semicircle over here probably not directly but if you look into here you can clearly see that if this is x which is the width of the rectangle this side must have the same length so this total is x which is actually like a diameter of the semicircle right so if that is the case you know that the radius will be half of that so on that case x over 2 right if diameter is x then half of that will be x half right so that means x over 2 is the radius of the semicircle well that's nice so if you just figure out that r r the radius of the semicircle that we need on this formula is just x over 2 so if that is the case let's use that and then plug that information over here so this will be one half times pi times x over 2 square of that is the area of the semicircle so if you want to write down that as a more simplified form or if we kind of combine this will be one half times pi times x square over 4 and this is equal to 
pi times x squared divided by 4 times 2 let's multiply everything on the denominator so we get 4 times 2 is 8 so this is the area of the semicircle that's nice that's that was very easy so but what we have as a function of x right so that's what we have figured out but what we have so far obtained is just area of the semicircle let me write that write that down which is uh, pi x squared over 8 all right so but just remember that we still need to find what is the area of the rectangle and add them together so let's try to find the area of the rectangle now all right so let's spend time here on finding the area of the rectangle okay all right so you you know the formula again how to find the area of the rectangle we need to multiply length with with the width of the rectangle right and w is given the width is given over here which is x right so that's what we have given we can just directly plug that in over here no problem with that uh, okay so i can just do that but the length the length is not given here directly right so how can we find that do we have some more information on this problem let me read that problem again so it said that the norman window has the shape of rectangle surmounted by the semicircle okay if the perimeter of the window is 34 feet hmm have we used that information no so let's try to use that information then and see if we can find out the length because we don't know what is the length of this rectangle okay so how can we do that what does it mean by the perimeter of these uh, perimeter of the, the the window means it means for example if i begin to like measure this windows side from here uh, this length which is x right okay which is x and then plus i don't know what is this length one so let me just assume that is l okay and then this length over here which is actually it's called what it is look like uh, the the perimeter of the semicircle right uh, and which also i don't know that right okay that's interesting but do i know how to find this length over here uh, do i know what is the perimeter of the circle yes i know which is just two times pi times r right but if i am talking about the uh, the perimeter of the semicircle and you take a half of that so i don't i just need to divide by two that means i don't need that two so just pi times r right so will be the radius of the semicircle uh, if i know the radius do i know the radius is yes, that's what we have discussed earlier the radius of the 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 same circle is just x over 2 right so if that is the case we can plug that information over here then we get pi times x over 2 is actually the perimeter of the semicircle so this length over here so over here right so let's uh, use that length over here so this will be then plus uh, what was that pi times x over 2 okay and then plus now we need to measure all this side over here when i measure that that will be again l right so adding all of these together we have given that is the perimeter of the window and that is actually equal to 34 that's what we have given all right okay so if uh, let's use that information to actually find out what is the length over here okay let me work a little bit over here uh, and see if i can find that l uh, because that's what i need to find out the area of the rectangle okay all right so let's try to spend time here i can combine now on this equation i can combine l which is 2l right and then plus let me write down on the black letter so that i can distinguish everything over here so 2l right when i combine those and then plus x plus pi x over 2 is equal to 34 that's what i have over here and then because i need to solve for l in terms of x so i'll just uh subtract x on the both sides so i'll get 34 minus x right when i simplify and i can also subtract by pi x over 2 so this is what i get and then from here you can clearly see that uh, if you uh, work a little bit let's say solve for l what do we get i just need to divide by 2 on the both side then what i get here is uh, uh, divide by 2 on the both side if i do it over here 34 divided by 2 will be 17 minus x over 2 minus pi x over 2 divided by 2 means pi x over 4 right so that's what i get as a length 
Wow, impressive. That is the length as a function of x of this rectangle. And which I just need to plug back in over here uh, to find out the area of the rectangles, which is 17 minus x over 2 minus pi x over 4 multiplied by width of the rectangle, so which is x. So if we multiply them together, we get uh, distributed by x, right? So 17 times x will be 17x. 17 times x over 2 will be minus x square over 2 right and then what do i get and then i need to again distribute over here then i get minus pi x square over four is the area of the rectangle that we get over here okay but our goal is to finally find the area of the window so let's plug this information in uh, over here uh, on this area of the rectangle which is 17 x minus x square over two minus pi x square over 4 plus pi x square over 8 is the area of the window but can i simplify this expression over here uh, can i do that well i believe definitely right let's try that uh, what can we do here uh, let's write down the 17 uh, x as it is right and then I have negative x square over 2. Let me write down that as it is. Or we could combine with all of these together. But here I see some of the terms involved with the pi. Let's combine that. And I can see 8 and 4 is the lowest common denominator there, right? So if I do, uh, if I take the lowest common denominator, which is 8. And in that case, I need to have, if I take that as a lowest common denominator, this will be, uh, I need to multiply by 2 over here to the top and bottom. In that case, we will have to negative 2 pi x square and then plus pi x square over here. So then this can be written as 17x, right? And then if you want to actually uh, minus x square over 2 and then just uh, combine these two, it just get. Uh, what do we get here? Minus pi x square over 8 is actually the required area of the window. You could still combine these two, but uh, <laughs> a lot of work. Anyway, uh, we can do that, no problem. But uh, this is the area of the window as a function of x. And x is the width of the window, right?